Welcome, I'm Keegan, and this is another video in the series of learning on Janex. I wanted to make a couple of videos that highlight some of the social features of this website, and in this one I'm going to cover profiles and uh, thoughts and the discussion forums and those kinds of things. So let's go ahead and get started here. So in the top right hand corner of your uh, web browser, there's your profile picture, and if you click on that you have the ability to change your status so you can be available or away or um, you can do something custom as well. That way people know what your intentions are on the website right now so you can signify that. Additionally you have a personal profile, every user has got one, and on your profile one, some of the things you can do, so I'll go to my about page, if you click this edit button here, you can actually change uh, the different features. You can uh, signify your location, how people can get in contact with you, and just do a regular description of yourself. If you click on the photo, you also have the option to change that photo here so you can upload something personal or just use the randomly generated content. Um, and if you want to go back and edit the crop that occurs on that, you can do that as well. So those are a couple of things about just the profiles in general, but one of the things I want to also highlight, so you have your recent activity over here, which just shows everything you've been doing, but the thought section, which is kind of, it, it reminds me a lot of a blog post is what it reminds me of, so you can go in and you can do entries that are basically just thoughts about, I mean, anything really, so I did one to talk about the, these tutorials, so if anyone is looking for them, um, it's very similar to a forum post, which I'm about to also describe. So you can go through and you can make a new entry, and in that entry you can add um, a video, you can embed the actual video on the website, you can do whiteboards just like you would um, in other places as well, and you can do tags and you can make your thoughts, you can privately blog or also publicly blog and add individuals or groups to that discussion. Okay, and then you can bookmark and do the, the favorites or the like equivalent as you see fit as well. So that's a little bit about profiles. The other thing I want to talk about are actually the forums. So each you can access these a couple of ways this button up here goes directly to them or if you go into the discussions this will take you to the same place so here and here in the um, in each of the courses are where you're going to reach the discussions and so far as I can tell only one of the sections is user uh, that are ones that we can add to this open discussions and then also the announcements look like they can only be made by the professor. So, I mean, obviously you can go in and comment as these folks have and do bookmarks and likes as well. But in this uh, Chemistry of Beer forum, what you can do is you can actually add new discussions. So these are just general things. So if you want to engage with the community, have a question or really anything, you can go in and make your title and add your tags and also um, insert your embedded video or whiteboard or any of those things. And then you'd hit save as soon as you're done with it. So what one of those looks like is if we, I'll go into this one that I've created. Um, and I'll hit edit. So these are, this is exactly what it would look like when it's filled out after you're done. So that's my title and my tags and then also my description. And then once you're done, you can hit save. So that's exactly, that's exactly how you would do a discussion on this website. Okay. And you can quickly jump between them, but I usually navigate back so I can uh, see exactly where I'm going because I don't have them memorized. But anyways, that's besides the point. The last thing I want to talk about just really quick is on these each of these comments and stuff, you can actually report the um, if if you find content that you think is inappropriate, you can actually hit report and you can report um, the object. So that way uh, whoever is watching this can um, get rid of things that aren't related to the course or things that are uh, not just, you know, not completely kosher for the discussion. 
But anyways, so those are a couple of the just social things that I wanted to cover. I'm going to do another video that highlights some things like contacts and groups and uh, those things later. So thanks.